Hello there and welcome back to another Luminar Neo tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to teach you a professional trick to take your editing with Neon and Glow tool even further. By making a simple tweak to your editing workflow, you'll be able to transform, reposition and even duplicate your Neon and Glow creations at any point during the editing process. This will give you a greater editing flexibility to achieve your desired results. Ok, so we are already in Luminar Neo in the catalog module and we are starting by looking at our sample files. As usual, if you want to follow me along, all you need to do is to jump into the description of this video, follow the link there and download the sample files now. Once you download them, you will see that there will be image of the lady. There will also be the black background and then there will be the triangle shape template. Now to start with, all you need to do is to import the image with the lady and then move it to the edit module. In the edit module, you will notice that I already made a preparation for this class. All I did, I duplicate the layer. So now I have a two layers with the same image and on the image on the top, I have removed the background. Now, if you want to take your time to do that, go ahead and once you're ready, we're going to continue. The idea for this image is to create a neon shape around her to add a special look to it and also create extra depth. Usually what you would do, you would go into the neon and glow tool and then start to paint the shape around her. However, once you finish creating the shape, you can adjust it. You can transform it, you can make it smaller or bigger, you can rotate it, you can reposition it and even further, of course, you can duplicate it. However, there is a way to do that and I will show you how to do it right now. So for the time being, let's close the Neon and Glow tool and let's come back to Layers panel. There, click on the plus sign and click on Load Image. After that, navigate to your sample files and select the black layer. You can double click on it or you can click on open to add it into our library. And then again, click on load image and also add the triangle template. Once we have both of the shapes in, we can simply add them to our image. Well, let's start with the triangle shape. So simply click on it and add it. When it appears, there is a chance it's going to be stretched like this. So to fix this, all you need to do is to jump into your layer properties and click on fit. Let's make it a little bit smaller. You can do that with the white handles in the corner and position it around. Now, since we have the template on, we can now choose the position of the triangle shape. So let's rotate it around. Let's have a look at it. Again, we are trying to create a depth. So I'm thinking about something like this. So this is where our neon most likely is going to be. So now how to create it? Well, let's go back to our layers panel and let's click on the plus sign and then select the dark or black layer. Now this layer has to be 100% black. And if you want to, you can of course keep it from the sample files and use it on any of your future projects. Once it appears, come back to Layer Properties and click on Fill. You want the black layer to cover the entire image. After this, let's return to our Layers panel and let's take the triangle template and put it above the black layer. With the black layer still selected, let's come back to it and increase the opacity slider all the way to 100. Now, don't worry, we will still fix this, but for the time being, Make sure that you have your black layer selected and then return to the main toolbar, then go into the Neon and Glow tool and to start with, make sure that you have the freeform drawing selected. After that, double check that you are on draw and don't worry about the rest of the settings. Now let's zoom in a little bit and we can do that using Command or Control Plus and let's position ourselves into one of the corners of the triangle. Now let's make sure that we are just above the corner of the triangle and then make one click. 
After that, use your spacebar to move around and navigate towards the second corner. Hold Shift on your keyboard to create a straight line and then make another dot. Finally, let's go to the bottom, still holding Shift and make another dot. And to finish it off, let's return to where we started and again hold Shift and make the final dot. Now we have the triangle created and to double check it, we can now use the command zero or control zero to zoom out and look at it. After this, we can now hide our triangle template. So you just need to right click on it and select hide. And once you do that, we can now look at our shape. Now I think it's looking quite well. However, it has the black background. So how can we adjust this? Well, it's really simple. Let's close the Neon and Glow tool, then come back to Layer Properties, and here change the Blend Mode from Normal into the Screen. And just like that, just like magic, we now have the dark background disappear, and we just have the Neon that is showing. However, as the Neon is on separate layer, you can now go ahead and rotate it around, you can also adjust its size and you can change its position, which I think is really, really cool. Now, if you want to undo it, you can use Command or Control Z because I quite like the position. Now, the next thing you can do since the neon shape is on its own layer is to duplicate it. So to do that, we need to come back to Layers Panel, right click on our black layer and click on Duplicate. Once we have the next shape on, you will see that again, we are able to move it around. We are able to rotate it and adjust its shapes. All of that while using the same settings as the initial shape. Now, of course, that if you would make an adjustment to one of the layer, it wouldn't transfer to the other one. However, the initial setting is exactly the same as the first layer. Now let's remove this layer and let's duplicate it again. And for the time being, we're going to take it and drop it between the two layers where we have the lady with the background and then the lady without the background. Now to continue, let's make a little plan on how we're going to adjust the neon. I think we're going to place the neon behind the head, then over the hand, behind the body, and then only behind this part of the hand. Now to do that, it's really simple. Let's select the black layer above all our images and layers here. And then we're going to zoom in a little closer, use your spacebar to move around and then navigate to layer properties, select masking and then brush. In the brush, switch to erase as we're going to be removing certain part of the layer. Now adjust the softness to 10 and keep the strength on 100. With the size adjusted based on what you need, depending on your zoom, and then very quickly make one dot on one side of the hair, then hold shift and make another dot on the other side, and you already know what to do with the shift to create the straight line, so just use it, and then very quickly remove the neon from the head and the face. Now to make it a little faster, we can make the brush much bigger and just brush away this part. Now be careful once you get closer to the hair. So again, zoom in, adjust the size and now very quickly just paint over these areas. This part as well. Of course, that if you want, you can take extra time to make sure that it's perfect. But I think to start with, this is a great beginning. Let's zoom out. Let's have a look. That's all looking good. Now we say over the hand and then behind the body. So let's adjust the part of the body too. Again, same workflow. One dot on one side. Then shift and dot on the other side. Then zoom out and brushing away most of the effect and it's all looking good. We are almost finished. Just going to adjust the hand here. So what we said, we said behind this part of the hand. So again, let's zoom in. Okay. 
and that's all looking great. Again, let's zoom out, let's have a look at it, and I think it's looking great. So now we have the shape exactly the way we want it, but that's not all. We can now bring the neon effect even further by adjusting the second layer we have created earlier. So that's the layer with the triangle that is placed behind the layer where we have the lady without the background. So now we have it selected and we can return to the main toolbar. Here we're gonna jump into the edits where we have the neon and glow tool we are using to create the neon shape. Once we're here, we can then jump into the style where we can increase the atmosphere and we can also increase the spread. And the advantage of doing it on a layer that is behind the person, that it's not adjusting or impacting the neon that is over the body of the subject. Once you're happy with the adjustments, you can then close the neon tool and return to the main toolbar. Now there is a reminder here that if you would wanna apply a global adjustments to the entire image, including the triangles and neon shapes, you first need to export the image in the highest possible quality so everything merged together and then bring it back into Luminar Neo and then continue editing the entire image including the neon shapes. Now before I let you go, I want to quickly remind you that our Luminar Neo Autumn Bundle is back with over 721 new autumn elements to power up your favorite tools in Luminar Neo. For a little fee, you will get high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, frames, LUTs, and presets to transform your autumn images with just a few clicks. As a bonus, if you get it today, you will also get an additional Halloween bundle to really get you ready for the upcoming season. To get the best possible price, follow the link in the description of this video, and to find out more about it, head to our website, cleverphotographer.com. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website, cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar Gift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment, and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.